Out of one of the biggest 4th of July parties in the country, many people will line along the East River for tonight's annual Macy's Fireworks Spectacular. And the NYPD will be there. Major security in place for this annual festivity. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live along the East River in Long Island City, Queens Alley. Well, Zane and Dick, this show is on rain or shine, and thankfully we have more shine than rain at the moment. You can see there are already people lined up on the piers behind me here. They're going to get a front row seat to these fireworks, but there are plenty of places all across New York City to see this famous display with your own eyes. The barricades are up and crowds are getting in place for this year's Macy's 4th of July fireworks over the East River. I say you have to wait a very long time and you have to be in place uh, a couple of hours and say that that's a matter. We're going to see it. Starting at 9.25 p.m., more than 60,000 shells and effects will launch from five barges in the water. 70% of this year's show is brand new to the skies over the East River. Really excited. Tons of new elements that are going to animate, change a variety of colors, four or five different hues of color from a thousand feet in the air all the way down to the water's edge. You'll be able to see the show from three boroughs, including on the FDR in Manhattan between East 20th and 42nd Streets, Gantry State Plaza Park in Queens, and several waterfront parks in Brooklyn. The NYPD will be checking bags at city run access points and says alcohol, backpacks, large bags, lawn chairs, coolers, and umbrellas are not allowed. NYPD Interim Commissioner Edward Caban told us the department has been planning for this night since last year. Designing security plans for events of this scale is what the NYPD does on a daily basis. And without a doubt, the men and women of this department do it better than anyone else anywhere. And there are a lot of road closures around the viewing areas in those three boroughs until 10 p.m. tonight. We have a full list on our website, cbsnewyork.com. But Dick and Dana, if you are coming here, you're probably better off just taking mass transit. Okay, thank you for that advice, Allie.